Once again, live from Lowell, it's the LTC Sessions. Are you ready? All right. Delay and procrastinate and be in late and feeling great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Frog, this is the thief of time. You're missing what's along the line. Don't let it pass you by. Say, man, you better learn to change your ways. Now, baby, I like my style. Oh, suits me well. To feel my flow. Oh, you can go to hell. So hard to be something they're not, oh yeah. All you do is reach inside and pull out what you naturally got. Take off that mask and quit that act and let your intuition go, oh yeah. The crazy folk and the psychos who bring the beauty to the big show. Better learn to change your ways. Now, baby, I like my style. Oh, suits me well. You can feel my flow. Oh, you can go to hell. Take off that mask and quit that act and let your intuition go, oh yeah. Some crazy folk in the psychos who bring the beauty to the big show, oh yeah. Say man, you better learn to change your ways. Now baby, I like my style. And I keep on hating and I keep on loving But sometimes I feel like my will has been taken away 
Working and moving and shaking and grooving and ceaselessly reaching for dreams I'm pursuing, but sometimes I feel like my life is just running astray. No, no way, I will decide my own fate. No, no way, nothing can keep me at bay. I will decide my own fate. I keep on pushing on strong from this day on And I know there is no other way to shed the tears That my soul has been waiting to cry I keep on saying goodbye to all the lies That I have found myself living in I'm a straight true to myself till the day that I die No, no way I will decide my own fate No, no way Nothing can keep me I will decide my own fate. I keep on pushing and I keep on shoving and I keep on hating and I keep on loving, but sometimes I feel like my will has been taken away. Working and moving and shaking and grooving and ceaselessly reaching for dreams I'm pursuing, but sometimes I feel like my life is just running astray. No, no way, I will decide my own fate. No, no way, nothing can keep me at bay. I will decide my own. Embracing the insanity, the gripping of humanity. It's just the breaking of the young mind. Live a life so full and free, and know that it's the way to be. It's just the making of the young mind. Yeah, stop the madness, stop the sadness. Yeah, there's too much good to feel bad about this. Life is young. Your mind has sprung, so let it rain cheer till your days are done. You can't stop that, my roots have spread. Don't let the attention go to your head. You are what we know, not what we are. It's only through ourselves that we come this far. Yeah, we got the ability to end all this hostility. Oh, Lord, I can't stand it. Those who feel we're born to pass just Having grown and risen past, oh Lord, it's like they planned it. Whoa, oh, 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 yeah. Say, oh, 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 yeah. Say, oh, 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 o
days I'm flying past. I'm searching for that something more significant than cash, but I get caught up in the low flow, taken by the undertow. Tips away the elements that serve to make my soul go. Whoa, caught up in the same old trap, yeah. Keep getting fixed in the same old crap. It's time we break this tradition of fear and suspicion and open our mind and whoa, whoa, whoa. got to treat you right. got to carry on. Ooh, it feels so right, it can't be wrong. Hey, hey, hey oh, love you for so long. I got this Don't let 
gonna hold on strong. Oh yeah, we got to carry on. If it's all right, it can't be wrong. Yeah, I just got to hold you, baby. I got to love you no more. I got this feeling. I feel it in my bones. This girl's got me reeling. I'm flying out of control. Oh, 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 yeah. No, please don't let me go. Please don't let me go. Unless you. Gonna hold on strong. In the lay where Pharaoh's roll, people fight to take the throne. Have you heard the news today? Line the streets to say, then the morning is way. Open up the door, take your bus to bed. Won't take this no more. People rising to play away the pain. come for change. to have a home cost of life is rising high so they cast stones to the sky send them on his way to pray away the pain Realize things will never be the same The time has come for change Thanks a lot. We're going to take a little break. Uh, so if you're hanging out, stay tuned. You're at home, you're at Fuse, you're watching online. I don't care. We'll be back. So, yeah, yeah, we're sitting down with uh, Strike Up at their apartment slash jam space. So, uh, yeah, how long you guys been living here? It's been about a year and nine months. Yeah. yeah. It's been longer for Jake. Yeah, year yeah. Jake's been two years and nine months. Yeah. It's been, it's been about two years now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, awesome. been here quite a bit. Yeah. It's a good good spot. It did us good while yeah, while it it's was. Yeah, worked yeah. for us. We'll, we'll be soon moving out though. Mm. So this is a, it's kind of the last Take hurrah. Take strike up on the road. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to be getting plenty of oxygen from the uh, foliage in here. That's the plan. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, this is my room right here. I like to uh, keep my plants well watered. Well, my name's Jake Ziegler, and I am the vocalist and guitarist for Strike Up. I've been in the band probably for about three or f three years, but officially as a Strike Up band, I think it's been like one year. But we've been playing together for some time. I've been playing music since the seventh grade when I picked up guitar because my other hobby, skateboarding, kept on hurting my ankles. I play bass, um, drums, piano, mean harmonica. Um, that's pretty much it. Any uh, kind of weirdness of being in a band and living together? You get none or... whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> none. Not even. Shh, shh, none. No. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Maybe the next I'll, I'll, I'll comment upon that. The The good side of it is you all are together in one place, so it's much more e easy to practice because, you know, we all have similar down times where we're just chilling and we might as well practice. But then the flip side is sometimes you just want to chill, and then people will be like, well, let's practice, you know? So, like, you got, you got it works both, both ways. Yeah, exactly. It'll be like you come home from a long day of work and like, ah, time to relax. And then you walk in the door and it'll be like drums and bass at full volume. <laughs> yeah. like, well, <laughs> well uh, that's what tonight's going to be like, I guess. Yeah. 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 A bunch of musicians living together. But yeah, no, I, I think we all enjoy it in the end. So I'm Justin. Um, this is my house. Um, I live in Lowell, originally from Alabama. Uh, I'm the bass guitarist. Uh, I came up to live, uh, you know, had enough of Alabama for the time being, you know. And so I just, um, my father lived in Chelmsford, so the nearest city, so just settled here. I used to live under Jake, and Jake plays a lot of music in every place he's ever lived, from what I understand. And uh, so I lived directly upstairs, and I heard it, and so I just went down and started playing with him. Bass guitar is the first one I picked up. Um, I'm trying to play the regular guitar. Um, I'm getting better and better at it, so soon enough I'll be a guitarist. We all have this code among us that we're like, the living room is fair jamming. You know, if you want to rock, you're going to rock. Until 2 a.m. 2 a.m. and call it quits. Because yeah, let's, let's, let's be respectful. And that's neighbors. respectful. That's respectful <laughs> to us. The respectful neighbors would be 10. Yeah, <laughs> we don't do that. Has there been, you guys are on the second floor here. So it's not your traditional jam space. It's not no, sequestered not right. in no, the middle building yeah. or in the no, basement even. Definitely not the dream spot. Uh, <laughs> the second floor. How, how is that in impacting your relationship with the neighbors they're they don't give a crap <laughs> and uh but we did have one one family move out yeah. <laughs> for some you know oh that was that was when like I that first, when i exactly. first moved in yeah. they left yeah. and then we had um yeah and while, the while they left in. we had an epic barbecue birthday party where we had a uh, masingo play uh which is a local band and we rocked very hard uh, that that time. And no complaints. Yeah, I've gotten one complaint from Jimmy. That was when it was just me playing drums for like an hour. Like just like yeah, I'm gonna practice. Nobody's home. And then got the kid knocking on the door. Uh, my name is Andy. I'm uh, the drummer of Strike Up. I've been playing drums since I was 18. Uh, been uh, was actually forced to play drums. I had a drum kit and I was awful at it and uh, stashed it in the basement until a friend came over, discovered it, and forced me to start playing drums, and it's been a blast. Actually, I've, I've been playing with Jake for a, for a while, actually, for about four, four or five years even. We've been, we've been playing these songs, and it was when we started to live together that uh, the band started to form, and it was kind of, when I started jam with him about four or five years ago, it was, it was pretty set. I was like, I, I want to play with this guy, and then this band kind of formed. I, I, like to, I like to dabble in other instruments. I play uh, guitar. I play bass a little bit. Um, nothing as much as how much, uh, how much I play drums. Um, 
but it helps to know all the other aspects of the instruments that you're playing within a band to really understand where people are coming from too. So I kind of felt that I felt that necessary to get involved. Nobody really wanted to tackle the embarrassing gig stories <laughs> as you guys were separate now that you're together and been uh, socially lubricated as a were. All, all, all right, now I'll, I'll spill the beans on what happened. We played the smokehouse. W wasn't wasn't such a sweet hookup um, because, you know, the person running the show, you know, I have my opinions. It wasn't it wasn't the best thing, but we did it because we're just like, man, keep playing shows. You know, we'll take any show. Let's do this, and uh, got the the person had mandated that we get there like something like f like four hours early or something, and uh, so I spent those t that time uh, r just munching down some hot wings. I got chocolate cake. I just drank about four beers, and by the time it was our set, I was like feeling uh, pretty rough, pretty rough. And I I belted it out. We played it through. We actually had a pretty decent show. Yeah. It was, it was, and uh, I immediately um, went out to uh, went outside after the show and was chatting with some uh, of my fiance's uh, girlfriends. And I uh, just suddenly got the, huh, huh, and I just, I ralphed. I ralphed on, on Merrimack Street at about 11, and I'm not too proud to say it. I think yak is the proper term. Yeah. yeah. Yak is what you call it. If it's on Merrimack, it's yakking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. That, that, street that, is a hurl. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not too proud to say it, but that's that was probably the the roughest uh, show experience for me because I, uh, you know, I was up there, and I, I think I ate, like, 18 chicken wings that night or something crazy. That's not uh, really a lot. No, that's... Uh, that's smokehouse it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lottery. It's a lot. <laughs> I got the ones with the garlic on them. And yeah, I still <laughs> think the funniest moment was in that amp, or the PA. Fell, fell on fell a girl's off. head. We, we had stacked a table on top of another table, I think. Right? It was had a table on top thought, of the thought, table, and then it was... Like, no, that wasn't us. It was the sound guy. Yeah. Um, which I won't, who I won't name drop. Um, but... We had stacked a small table on top of another table, and then the PA on top of that, and that's what uh, the bass was going through, or I think at the time. No, or my, my bass, was, my amp was pointing at it. That's what it was. And it, it, just... it had vibrated the table so much that there was just this girl <laughs> with her back towards the PA, and did not see it at all. And as we're playing, we just heard the sound cut out and the smash sound, and this girl, this, this PA landed right on her, and uh, it's a hard one to recover from in the middle of a song. Yeah. It pulled my guitar from me because yeah, my guitar was right uh, connected to the PA, and it fell on the ground. And uh, I picked it back it up, and we, we played the song out. <laughs> we played the song through. <laughs> we didn't stop to make sure she was okay. <laughs> we didn't actually. We didn't. Did we? <clears throat> you can let that wait till the break. Uh, <laughs> I was say, what, what's your guys' take uh, collectively on the state of the? original music scene in Lowell, original live music scene in Lowell. See, I wasn't around for a lot of it. I, I just well, really... Currently, I mean, what are oh, your currently. Now? When, oh. I, when I first came to Lowell, I was going to Mambo Grill and seeing Lowercase P play. Uh, we had uh, Trip Fist, like a jazz trio playing Mambo Grill, different spots. And and I was I was excited about the type of music that I, that I had come across here. And I was grooving on it. And then for a while that kind of scene left and it went back to what Lowell has a steady supply of, which is punk rock and metal. And, uh, and that never stops. But uh, the, I'm glad that uh, recently the jazz and soul and groove music scene has come, taken a hold of the city once more. And we're seeing more bands that have uh, more jazz and blues oriented music. And uh, that's what I feel like we fit in with. So it's good for us. What band has been your favorite to be on a bill with? Oh, party either, band. Either just by yeah. sheer, sheer creative talent or just... Oh, yeah. Uh, the party band was, is absolutely a blast to play with, and just to see in general. Yeah. Um, we played, I think the first time we played with them, we were invited to go play Earth Day Festival in Framingham. And uh, I think as soon as we had finished playing... We were still we were still uh, taking everything down on stage, and you could see them like in this line, like as, as party band fashion, with Seth uh, Balin just leading it, and then his entire band behind him just walked it. What it was like, they went to like probably like 
an eighth of a mile from where they parked and just played the song all the way up until they got to the stage and then just stopped and played. And it was, it was just a blast. Very visually fun to watch. And, uh, yeah, it's a good bit. I like those guys. Yeah. It's not the only time I've seen him do that. I've seen him walking around Lowell and just Seth leading a like a loud marching band. We'll, we'll cut that F word out, I'm sure. <laughs> so when did you guys first kind of come to the realization as a group? Or when did you kind of make eye contact during a gig or during a practice and like, this is something we should be doing. We should continue to do it. Well, I make uncomfortable eye contact with everyone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, I don't know, it's probably one of those. <laughs> I'd say I'd say uh, a living room show at Luke Denmark's Ooh. apartment on on uh, Broadway. Broadway Street in Lowell was where we made our debut, oh, yeah. and we were like, we can do this thing because there was some people dancing. It was it, we got some people moving, and we said, yeah, we're 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 doing a good thing here. Mm. No, you're right. That that was it. That yeah, was, that was yeah, it. Yeah, that was definitely it. The awkward eye contact uh, helps yeah. that. <laughs> Uh, any gigs that you ha see as low points that you're like, we shouldn't have even left the house tonight? Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was one from, um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't say it was a low point. Uh, jo Justin was out for the weekend and we ended up playing a two piece, just this random, um, Pat Flaherty, uh, that hit me up and just said, Hey, these bands are coming out. Uh, something happened at radio in Somerville. I think their sprinkler systems went off at electrical failure. Their whole show got canceled and got pushed to the word then, and it was like a, like this. <laughs> it was like this very like Queens of the Stone Agey band, you know, the very like driving rock. And I mean, we we can rock, but it was definitely the, they were like a level beyond. We just we rock. Right, rock. We got a two piece. We're gonna play as loud as them. Like it was a blast, but uh, I definitely wish you you were home for that weekend. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Just, if just to provide that awkward eye right, Yeah, no, I mean, that's kind of what makes it's us It's what keeps the band up. together, yeah. 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 It's the glue that holds us together is awkward eye contact. Jeez, uh, what are the next steps? Are you touring, cutting an album, picking out jet planes? I, I'd say recording is definitely yeah, the it's, next step. It's, it's, an album. it's the, that's, that's, um, and I, I recently gotten a hookup where I, we have a studio that we can record at, so. That's fortunate. Yeah, get some recordings so, done. Start getting those t-shirts. Mm -hmm. T-shirts and uh, duffel bags. Let's strike up duffel bags. Yeah, eventually merch. strike up toasters. I was thinking of a line of toasters. Um, panini presses. Stuff like Party that. Party band's got hot sauce now. <laughs> plugging. Well, you know. Totally plugging. I think the sandwich press is a much better idea. So. <laughs> got nothing on the sandwich press idea, though. <laughs> I'm almost I'm really, move on it. really encouraged. Time is theirs. So I'm Thinking of these things it. every day. <laughs> Just pop in there. Uh, who would be on your dream bill if you were gonna play a gig? Where would it be? Who else would it be with? Oh man, dream good. Well, Stanley Jordan would be up there. He'd be in there with us jamming. Oh, yeah. All right, then we get Tell Terra Mellows in there, <laughs> rocking. Is that rocking for me? With us. Yeah, yeah, that's for me. Yeah, that's we for get me. Yep. and then we got. Um, Let's see. Uh, what do you guys think would be my dream? Liana La Havas? Uh, Liana La Havas. Yeah, she'd be in there just jamming. Uh, yeah. Bro, what's that? Uh, what's that southern, uh, southern girl? Plays the guitar. Mm, she can stay down south. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get Liana. We'll get Liana. Uh, I'll take Liana. So yeah, Liana La Havas. Did you agree with Stanley Jordan? That's fine. Stanley, That's fine. St Stanley could do a good gig. And Tara Mellos. So <laughs> Tara Mellos, Mellos, Stanley Jordan, and Liana Lohavoss jamming with us. That would be the weirdest <laughs> show. <laughs> It'd be good. It would be, yeah. uh, that would be my dream show. Yeah. Any particular venue? Um, Antarctica. <laughs> Boarding House Park, Lowell. Yeah. Yeah, I see that going over well. Yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to promote? Any upcoming shows? Any? Uh, we have websites, March twentieth. Book stuff. We're, we're gonna be on LTC <laughs> <laughs> tonight. Check us out. <laughs> um, you know, I, just really, kind of promoting the band camp yeah. on the Facebook. And yeah, 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 yeah just check it out. We'll, we'll have some recordings up. And check yeah. out the latest Drake tracks because <laughs> he's up and coming. Drake, um, he's really. 
Night on my. Can't say it. You got that by Can't even say it. Uh, once we once we get some recordings done, I think we'll uh, we'll have some material to, to be able to travel with, and we'll start going in Boston. Hopefully, I'd like to play Boston. I'll yeah. like maybe push into New York if we yep. can get as far and absolutely spread the recordings. So Montreal. It's, yeah. Quebec. You guys got cars. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to a lot of classic rock growing up and folk and uh, I'd say I look up to Ray Charles as an artist and uh, uh, Bob Marley as an artist. Those are probably my two favorite artists of all time. But a lot of people compare my sound to like, um, like Dave Matthews, Jack Johnson, Dispatch, Sublime. Bunch of bands who I'm not too proud to be <laughs> compared to, but that's what it was, that's what people get from my vibe. So that has to have an inf influence on my music as well. I mean, those were bands that I enjoyed uh, for part of my life and kind of got over. But uh, yeah, uh, it's some of the, some of the biggest influences are actually a lot of a lot of math rock bands that I used to listen to. Um, they really uh, kind of chose a direction for me when I was playing drums. Um, uh, Ken from um, Giraffes Giraffes is a local band out of Northampton, Mass. Actually, that 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 drummer is insane, and he actually got me uh, really wanting to play drums a lot. And uh, I think classics, you know, like Buddy Rich. You know, you, you can't not like Buddy Rich if you play drums. Um, I've been listening to a lot of jazz lately. I'd say jazz is probably my favorite genre. Um, Grant Green, I like Grant Green a lot. But then I also like rock and roll. Um, I don't know. I'd say. Um, like Rolling Stones type rock and roll. I'm a business guy. Actually, what I, I went to, I went to college just for a little bit and just did uh, more liberal studies, and I realized I wanted to put more time into just um, doing whatever I wanted, which was traveling and working, and <laughs> just taking random odd, odd jobs or going on vacations and traveling around. Didn't quite do the college thing. School, UMass Law. I studied, I uh, got a degree in political science and sociology. Welcome back to the LTC Sessions. Strong, it gets knocked down hard. Yeah, this whole life is like a house of cards. You build it up strong, it gets knocked down hard. Yeah, somewhere along the way, I seem to turn the wrong direction. Yeah, cease to heed to the voices that gave protection. Oh, shut out my head, didn't listen clear. Turn around one day and everything can disappear. Yeah, set the stage for the soul's resurrection. Oh, in my whole life Hit with the rhythm and sing with the groove I said my whole life Oh, we play the time machine to make your mind move I said all right I gotta find my way on through And I gotta go and on go, yeah Hit with the rhythm and sing with the flow Hit it!
like a house of cards. I build it up strong, it gets knocked down hard. I say my whole life, it's like a house of cards. I build it up strong, it gets knocked down hard. Somewhere along the way, I seem to turn the wrong direction. Yeah. He says he do the portrait that gave protection. Oh. Shut up my head.
Just keep on using me until you use me up. Just keep on using me until you use me up. using me like you wanna until you use me up.
We got through another one of the LTC sessions coming to you live from LTC in Lowell, Massachusetts. I am your host, Maximus Sack. I want to thank Strike Up for coming down here and playing their hearts out for us. I want to thank my crew for working their asses off. And I want to thank Fuse for hosting all the good people of Lowell and downtown. Thank you, and I'll see you next month.
so long And I ain't got no one to throw my arms around 